Hi there, I hope you have a lovely day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stern. So today I have the update for the project Rolling Project Build Your Own Palette. So BYOP. And this is a project created by uh, Jessica Lee and Dana here. And it was suggested actually or submitted to the Panda Palette uh, theme of this year. It didn't win, but Jessica and Dana went ahead and said, we still want to do this. And I said, okay, I'm going to join them. I mean, I <laughs> applied, so to say, to join them because I thought, okay, I have many single eyeshadows. And if I don't, you know, do it like that, I will never start using them because I'm focusing too much on the palettes, etc., etc. you know. And if you see all the content of my channel, you see a lot of palettes, you know, in each project, etc., etc. but not so many single eyeshadows. So that's why... I said I'm going to you know do this project as well and luckily enough uh, Jessica uh, agreed you know uh, or said it's fine I can do that as well so I'm happy about that and I'm going to show you in this project um, Jessica uh, started with nine shadows and once she hits her goal meaning let's say um, pen in one pa uh, one eyeshadow she just rolls it out and it's a very laid back project so meaning there's no pressure, no end date, etc., etc. You can stop anytime you want. So that's a good thing as well. And I can really appreciate that project. So um, now let me show you the palette so far. I mean, you can also see there is some changes going on. Uh, I'm not going to tilt it too much or else I will have a lot of eyeshadow on the table here. But what I did was because they have nine shadows, I also pulled in nine shadows and uh, I started to work on those and uh, these three here are from the jeffree star blue blood palette you know this is wealthy and this is crystal flesh and uh i am not sure about this pink shade anymore but it is definitely i can see it from the shade of the of a uh, shape of the uh, pen um it is from the jeffree star collection so and i started to use on that this one had already pen this one already ha also had pen uh, but what i did was i had here this beige nude cream color eyeshadow and it is empty but because what i did was i actually kind of covered um the pan of this one with the eyeshadow i was always repressing a little bit of this into this one and then once i felt okay i need to repress more i did that it is just sometimes a psychological thing i don't know um maybe you have it as well that you want to how can i say it once you see a little bit of you know let's say um emptiness or space you are like okay i need to fill it up with something else so this is me actually i do that sometimes i'm like okay there's enough space i can maybe put in another pro uh, you know product etc etc so uh, this is me so that's maybe uh, it's a little bit of a, i don't know if if it's against the rules of panning or not but whatever it's you know it's a project i i like to do it that way so anyway i just pressed uh, a little bit of this one always on this and also i took a little bit of this one actually of this i'm not sure from which palette it is and also this uh, pan is not magnetized and um, i also put it in a, a franken powder setting powder uh, just to have some use out of it because i know i have a lot of these cream shadows you know and um why not make my own face powder by franken it with other products or repress it with other powders you know just uh, to have it so but it is what it is so let me show you or let me tell you how many times i have used this one i don't separate now how many times i have used it without this shade you know what i mean i just count in total i used this little guy 73 times already this guy here well uh crystal flash i no sorry this one i used 46 times this one i used 73 times i always use it as a brow bone highlight and this one i have not touched at all um but maybe i'm just show you this little guy here so ah uh, this little guy i don't know if you can see that there is a dip going on yes i use it as an inner corner highlight it has glitter in it but it's still okay to use it and this little guy i used 27 times already so uh goal would be of course to hit pan and uh, see what will happen of course um but um what i decided for my palette or for the pants uh, eyeshadows that i have once i can replace the function let's say if i have an inner corner highlight for example in another palette that i do uh, use and reach the goal i always switch back to this palette so that's why the laid back you know speed of this project is very fitting to my needs right now because i still how can I say go back to this palette and use it um so and i started to use this round 
dark greenish shade. I don't know if you can see, but it's a dark green shade. It looks very, how could say, black-ish, but it's more like a dark green shade, dark teal kind of shade. And I use that. All the others have not been touched yet by me. So, and I pulled in as a replacement of this little guy. I pulled in this one as I have not, you know, removed actually here this top part from this palette, yeah, from this pan, I mean, uh, eyeshadow, um, I will not remove the pan from it. But I'm quite happy, you know, about the progress that I made for myself, you know, it helps me as well. And I hope to hit pan in this little guy soon. Anyway, this was my update for the project rolling, uh, build your own palette. It's a, it's a tongue twist, I cannot remember BYOP <laughs> so quickly. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I see you in the next update. Have a good day. Bye-bye.